friends. Hi. Hey there. Evie shirt flicks. Bro. So in this video, I'm gonna be changing clothes. Thank God that Forever 21 still exists in Shibuya because I'm fat. I'm fat in Japan. I may be fat in general. <laughs> So I struggle by getting shorts every single time. True story, when I first moved to Japan, I actually just had to go to a clinic to get an overall checkup and everything was fine. Um, I'm, I'm doing okay. The only thing that it said on the front of it, I love the way that they worded this, the nicest way possible. They said, <laughs> Your, um, uh, my waist and my hip circumference was wider and larger than normal. But don't worry, this is all based off of the numbers in Japan, which may or may not apply to you if you are a foreigner. Um, that's really the nicest way that they could have ever just said, You a fat bitch! Do some push-ups! I think I've been doing well though. I I think I've actually done well in the past year. Anyway, so I'm just gonna get right into it. So one of the places I went to was this place called WeGo and this other place called Tutu Anna. Tutu Anna does things like bras, pajamas, socks, other things. So I got three outfits from WeGo, three different pants, three different tops, and then from here I got two different bras and uh, no, I think that's it. The reason I got two different bras is so that I could show you the smallest size that I found versus the biggest size that I found. So this is the biggest size that I found. Oh, it's so cute. And this is a size, this is a size F, an F70. This may look big on the camera. It's the size of my face. And I guess this is me admitting to a personal thing online, hello. So here's a comparison. So this is the size that I do wear, and this is the size that I bought in Japan. So just as a comparison, that's tiny, bruh. Yeah, there's no way that this, this would fit me. Like, this one fits perfectly around me, and this one, I think it would probably... I, I don't even think I could get this around me. Not without feeling I'm being strangled. But you know what's not fair? Like, I can get by with the fact that I don't find my sizes because, you know, I've already stacked up before I got here. But it is so not fair that they make everything 10 times cuter and I can't wear anything. So this is a size F and this is a triple D. I just said that on camera. Big deal! It's just a number. Who cares? I don't know. Clearly, I'm not going to change in front of the camera into this, but I am going to change into it and tell you guys just how I feel. Oh my god, I... <laughs> Somebody help me. I have just barely gotten it on, people. Okay guys, with the assistance with black magic, I finally managed to get this thing on. Okay, so I'm wearing it just to prove it to you guys. I haven't taken the tag off. There it is. It says F70. It's still attached to the strap. It's not that bad. I feel like I could get by with this if I was in an emergency situation. If by some weird happenstance that I needed a bra very desperately, and if someone was this size, I'd be like, give it to me. But I can feel the fat overflowing it. The straps are like, if you string ham really tightly, like you know that shit's gonna cook really well in the oven because you've tied it up so tightly. That's me right now, I'm the ham. Again, still wearing this. I can move, it's fine. I can bend, I can twist, and I can take it off. And this is the smallest size that I found. <laughs> It's so cute! That's, that's smaller than my hand, and I have pretty small hands. This was in the adult section too, and this, this one says it's an A65. I don't know why the other one doesn't have the size written on it, but yeah, no, this is a size A. Um, I've seen size A's in America, and they are, they're not this small. This is very petite. If I put this on, 150% chance that I will not even get one nipple into this. Like, it's so small! Homie! It's cute! Okay, now we're gonna try this thing, if I can even get this on. Everyone wish me luck. The hooks are going on. I am twisting the bra around. The straps are going up. <laughs> <laughs> By some black magic, I managed to get this bitch on, and it is toit. Um, wow, it's actually really hard 
to breathe a little bit here. It's constricting me so... Oh, man! That fucking hurts! Okay, somehow I cannot find the tags to prove I'm wearing it, but you guys remember it was red, so here's the red one. <sighs> Uh, it's like a micro bikini from hell. I've never worn a micro bikini, but I've seen the images and I see what it looks like on big boobies. And imagine that, but it's way too toy. Like it's not even sexy. It's like tying an eye patch on a cake. I'm actually bringing it out forward so I can breathe a little bit. Homie, this shit is toy. It's noise and toy. It's not nice. My side boob looks like a side boob, but with a double chin, maybe a triple chin. I actually need to get this off. It's <laughs> it's really tight and I loosened it as much as I could. Ah, ugh, bro. Oh my God. <sighs> Freedom. Dude, if anyone needs to torture their enemies, just put them in this. They'll tell you any information you need to know because I was about to just blabber on. It was gross. It's like when you take a ball of putty and you squeeze it as hard as you could and all that fat is like forming around in between your fingers. My boob looked like that somehow. I was proven wrong though. It did go over one nipple. How am I gonna write this off on taxes? I mean, it's <laughs> hopefully what we have next here will be a little bit more comforting. Again, three outfits, three pants, three tops. That's what we're working with. Most of them are free size and some say that they're large. So I'm gonna try on these shorts. They don't look that bad considering it does have a drawstring so I can adjust it. God, my fucking shoulders still hurt from that bra, dude. It says free size. Free for who, supermodels? The pants are coming off. <coughs> wow, I... Okay, legit. I can't pull these up. I legit can't get these past my thighs. Let me just undo this drawstring. Okay, we got something. Awesome, it went on with the help of completely undoing the drawstring. If I do this, it's already tight. I mean, this will be good to go to sleep with. In fact, I might just do that. Okay, yeah, it's not that bad. Flexible, durable. It's not that bad though. It is a tad bit tight in the stomach, but I guess what do you expect when you are legally told by a doctor that your width circumference is larger than average? Okay. Okay, well with these shorts, I think I'll just put on one of my tops. Ow, caught my earring, mother. Okay, I tried to take off the shirt and it is caught in my earring. Ah, what do I do? Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I am dumb. I am so dumb. Ah, why? Ah. Oh, we're safe. I don't know why, but this all feels very familiar. I'm putting on this shirt that says free size. It's a sweater, so it shouldn't be that bad. It smells really nice. <laughs> it's an ugly outfit, but I'll take it. Um, do you think that maybe also my shortness makes up for it because I'm so compact? Why did I choose this sweater? There's n I wouldn't wear this sweater in a million years. Despite looking like I'm going to church, this is actually quite comfortable. It's very warm in this room now. Okay, I'm wearing a second outfit now. The shirt says free size and the pants say that they're a large. All right, let's do this. Oh, is this gonna show my stomach? I hate shirts that show the stomach. I know that there's a comment out there wondering if I'm behind the whale. No, this is, this is me. Hi. I don't know if it looks like it on camera, but this is super fucking small. I could probably wear this if I had to. And now for the pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that, yeah, this is not gonna fit. This is a large, okay, it's on. Wow, you know what? This was a lot harder to get on than how it feels now. Dude, just add some chains onto this and it looks like those Hot Topic pants that cost like 80 bucks where you were the cool kid if you own them. What the fuck were those pants called again? I don't know, I just know I was really infatuated with them during the cyberpunk phase of my life. Yes, I went through it and I am proud to say that on the internet. It's not that bad. These looked a lot smaller before I put them on. Mind you, by the way, though, I am 4'11", so I think my shortness kind of works with it somehow. I don't know. Someone tell me how this works. That's just where my logic's kind of going, people, so... Like, this is good if I want to go to Akihabara and maybe go, like, go pick up a couple of doujins. Or maybe just if I have some friends over, we want to go out and eat ramen, you know? Grab a couple of beers, come back, and I can feel okay about my outfit for the day. I am suitable for public viewing. Though this is one of those pants where if you sit down, it sinks so far into your stomach, it just disappears, and you come to the realization of how chubby you really are. In a society where most people are very skinny. Ah! <laughs> Real talk, though, I'm 
might not be the skinniness required for, you know, outfits like these, but I honestly feel like I'm okay. Because, again, this is a society where the average size is pretty damn thin, and I feel content with the way that I look. I'm not gonna be on the cover of Vogue anytime soon, but I will just look like every other person eating McDonald's. Actually, I don't eat McDonald's. Okay, having a Starbucks coffee. Actually, I don't drink Starbucks. Having a cookie, knowing that it's bad for me, because as long as I can still feel confident dancing in front of the mirror to Yutada Hikaru, face my fears, I should be Okay, yeah, there's some chubs I can pull here. There's some chubs I can pull there. There's some chubs down here that I can <laughs> shake in my free time. But that's okay. Just have fun with it. You're like a big teddy bear. You just want to shake it around. I'm filled with cotton balls. We're just going to call it that. Okay, I'm just going to take this off. The shirt says free size and the shorts say large. What does the shirt say? I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something, but I can spaced. Except not trying. And they're on. Oh, wow. Huh. Hello. This is very comfy. Probably wear this in the spring. Frillies are usually a miss with me. I can make it. Uh, I can make it work. Words to live by. Now for the shorts. Um, <gasps> this. Oh, no. This ain't gonna work, but okay. You know how Disney always says, like, just believe in yourself and you can do it? And then, then <laughs> reality just kicked in really hard for me. Or reality ain't so bad. Um... Wow, uh, this, okay. What is this magic? I swear to God, I tried large for like five different shorts and I gave up, but then I went to Forever 21 and they had the US sizes conveniently in the clearance section because no one wears the sizes that I usually do. How do these work? Is my lifestyle in Japan making me lose weight? Or did I just get really lucky with clothes? Oh my God. Oh. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus! They were! They were! Uh, wow! Though I will say, I think I am the limit. Like, I think beyond this body type, um, we, we would have a lot more difficulties. Apparently these were donated by the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. But today's outfits were not actually that bad. The smallest one, well, clearly was the, the A-cup bra, the black shirt, and kind of the other bra. Both bras aren't really my size. But everything else is honestly okay. Okay, so I was just doing some research on this brand, Wego. Yeah, it's mainly just in Japan from what I'm seeing. I see these stores everywhere. I've never seen it anywhere else. And also the amount of broken English clothing kind of gives it away for me sometimes. I mean, I'm pretty happy to realize that I'm fitting in these. I mean, I'm not skinny, that, that much is for certain. I can still feel my tummy on my lap when I sit. I still feel like an inverted souffle that was left in the oven for too long, but overall I'm pretty pleased with the fact I just put those shorts on. That was the one thing I didn't think would fit on me, and it did. Though again, I wonder if my shortness kind of makes up for everything. One of the things I always struggled with when coming to Japan is always just clothes. It's why I stocked up on so many American sized bras. I'm sure that there's places, especially online, that you can buy them on, but nobody got time for that. So if you do plan on moving to Japan, I would suggest that you stock up. There are stores here though that do have US sizes, such as Uniqlo, Forever 21. And as far as tops go, I do find a lot of oversized clothing, so I've been pretty much good in that department. But I'm just happy that I managed to somehow fit everything in. This is just kind of a fun little thing I wanted to try out. I usually post anime related videos, but since I live in Japan, I usually sneak a little bit in there. So I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more anime otaku and I guess Japan related content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!